All right, welcome back guys. Hey, so what I uh, have to report today is a uh, giant paint catastrophe. Okay, so I decaled this thing. Now, uh, I did that last night and I was having trouble with the uh, decals. They were falling apart, they were ripping. The um, 777 that belongs on this door as you can see it there in the uh, box art, it can see completely uh, disintegrate it, so I couldn't use it. And I thought, okay, well, no big deal. I'm just gonna keep continuing on and uh, decal it up, and maybe I'll run across a set of these decals and I'll, I'll add that part. Um, so I did that last night, I put the decals on, and um, I had to come out here this morning and clear this piece that I painted for a guy um, this goes in his engine bay somewhere. And, uh, so I had to clear that and I figured I'd clear this at the same time. Well, apparently what I did was I cleared this with my, uh, spray gun. I used this big gun right here to do it, which is actually a small gun, but, um, I use that. And this is the material that, uh, you adjust for how much material you want to come out. Well, I had it adjusted to that, and usually what I'll do when I do a model car, I'll turn this in so not so much material will come out because I have such a small area to uh, clear coat. Well, I, I cleared it obviously too heavy because what it did was it bit into the decal. It was too hot for the decal, and it wrinkled the decals up. Um... I mean, if you look down the side, I don't know if this camera's picking that up, but you can totally see where it just buckled them and wrinkled them all the way down the side of the car um, to the point now where I have two options. I can strip this now and uh, paint it later on. Whether I, I do this... Uh, Ken's and Leslie Cougar funny car or I do another funny car because uh, when this kit came out uh, a couple of decal makers came out with some really nice uh, decals of cars that were Cougars so uh, I have a few options there if I want to build this car again or do the STP car or there, there's a few other cars that I, I could possibly do um, I, I feel really bad because the, the color was, was like what I wanted. So, and that's not going to happen now. So anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you. I had another uh, failure too, but I, I was just going to move along on it also. If you look at the bottom of this uh, front valance, you can see little tiny, uh, I don't know if they were side marker or blinker light indentions or actually protrusions, because they actually pop out. Um, that's clearly on the, on the box. Well, it's clearly right here too. I don't know if you can see that, but they're right there also on the front of this valance. So I, I went ahead without looking at the uh, destruction sheet. I uh, grabbed the piece, I glued it on, and I glued the rear valance on. And I kept staring at it and I kept thinking, well, it doesn't fit for, for beans you know it doesn't fit very good so uh but i left it and then i uh finally did look at the uh, destruction sheet and you can clearly see that this rear piece has those little bumps on it and the front piece does not so i end up gluing <laughs> i end up gluing the uh the uh, front on the back and the back on the front so um i, I thought okay i've already painted it i've already cleared it I'll just leave it. I don't think it's going to be that noticeable. So I left it on there. So uh, that was uh, failure number one with this whole thing. I've just got so much stuff going on that, that I can't get my head straight. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue the ProTech detail kit um, build. But I think I'm going to opt for this uh, Don Schumacher uh, funny car instead. And I'm, I'm in the middle of trying to build these walls. I've got to go down and buy some more material because obviously I didn't buy enough. So I've got that going on. 
and uh, and a couple of other things besides this guy's parts and some other parts and but um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on uh, pay attention to the instruction sheets like I seem to never do and uh, don't put your clear on too wet on the first coat because it's gonna bite into the decals and um, luckily for me these this, these decals were already junk anyway they were breaking and they were they were splitting and I had to keep trying to piece them together um, so maybe it was uh, meant to be so this is going in the paint stripper and um, and that's it I'm gonna start on this one next in the meantime I'm gonna get caught up on the guys that sent me uh, pictures of their their cars to showcase or spotlight and uh, I will get that going here pretty soon and I will be back right with you guys give me a like leave me a comment and uh, definitely subscribe or, or share it with your friends if you haven't. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.